It's not the most popular doll, but I get an amazing mix out of it. Like I can, I can get some crazy sounds out of here. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Kelly, for those that are new. And today, I want to talk about Adobe Audition and why I still use Adobe Audition in 2024 for making music. After 10 years, we still out here on Adobe Audition. And you would think I'd be using something else because Adobe Audition is not the most popular doll recording program for recording music. Adobe Audition is very popular when it comes to podcasting and radio but Adobe Audition is not that popular when it comes to music there's a lot of dolls like Logic, Pro Tools, FL Studio that are more suitable and made for making music and Adobe is mostly again for radio and podcasting but I'm still out here using it 10 years later Adobe Audition gang now I started on Cool Edit Pro Cool Edit Pro is pretty much like Adobe Audition and then Adobe Audition bought out Cool Edit Pro, I'm pretty sure. And then, yeah, I've been using, <laughs> I started on Cool Edit Pro in like 20, 2012, 2012. And then I started using Adobe Audition like 2014, 2013. And I've been using it ever since. Now, I started making beats like last year, a little bit, maybe end of 2022. So I've been using FL Studio a little bit. I've recorded a couple things in FL Studio. For the majority of my stuff, I am using Adobe Audition unless I make a beat in FL Studio and I'm just trying to record to it quick in FL Studio because I have the whole session there and then I'll use FL Studio. But for majority of my stuff, I am still using Adobe Audition and that is because I just really enjoy their simplicity. It's very simple and easy to use. Put your instrumental in up here. You record right here and you got your track effects right here on the side and then just pick your mic record it's like very it's just very simple to use and then also i really like their effects i think that's the big thing that has kept me with adobe audition is their stock effects i use adobe audition stock effects with pretty much every single song that i make like i will add some extra like plugins and whatnot to my uh, mix, I'll add some Wave plugins or Isotope plugins or Slate Digital plugins sometimes. But I use Adobe Audition stock effects for every single song that I make. And that's because I really like Adobe Audition stock effects. I've tried using some of FL Studio stock effects, but I just don't think that it's like, I just feel like they don't sound the same. And you gotta remember like Adobe Audition is made for podcasting and radio. So they gotta have some good voice effects. As you guys can see here, I have some effects on the side. Like their, their dynamic processing classic Softney. Like this compressor right here, I love this compressor. It's the first compressor I use in all my vocal chains. And I just think it's an amazing compressor. You add that compressor and you add a couple other ones. Like I have the multiband. The multiband compressor is a really good compressor as well. This is made by Isotope. And Isotope has some of the best plugins. Um, So I guess Adobe and Isotope teamed up for this. I don't know. But this, this is an amazing multiband compressor. I love it. Um, they have a tube compressor, simple. Also powered by Isotope. Isotope, GOAT. Their auto-tune, I love, I love their auto-tune. This is pretty much the best auto-tune I've ever used. Metatune is pretty good by Slate Digital as well. But this is my favorite auto-tune I've ever used. You can get a really natural sound with this auto-tune without like you hearing the auto tune, it just sounds like your normal voice. And it really like pitch corrects your voice. Like it puts you on key. Or you could like crank the auto tune. I like to use this sometimes, the attack at 10, sens sensitivity at 200. And you can get like that T pain sound, but it doesn't sound, it still doesn't sound too auto tune y. Like it's not labeled as auto tune, even though auto tune is like auto tune. It's automatic for auto and tune. Like it's pretty much the same thing, automatic pitch correction. But this gives you like a really good auto-tune sound. Like it just best auto-tune I've ever used. Metatune's up there as well, but I still think I like Adobe's better. Their auto-tune and their compressors and also their mastering tool right here, the Exciter, amazing, amazing Exciter. Their hard limiter, amazing hard limiter. 
great hard limiter. I love this hard limiter. There's amazing stock effects. I love their stock effects, especially combined with some VSTs. You can, get a, you can get a really good mix. Another thing is they have some amazing noise reduction plugins. Like if you guys have background noises or like a like a click in your vocals, amazing noise reduction plugins. You can take out lots of unwanted noise with Adobe. To be honest, I think it's just the simplicity of Adobe Audition, the workflow, and their stock effects. If you guys want some Adobe Audition vocal presets, hit up my website, it's kelly.com, links in the description, and we have tons of vocal presets like this one. You just have it on the side right here and you can record your vocals right here. We have Drake type vocal presets, Justin Bieber type vocal presets, you name it, we probably have it. I'm pretty much the only <laughs> person that's doing vocal presets for Adobe Audition when it comes to music production. I feel like Adobe's honestly really slept on, but the only thing I don't really like about Adobe, there's one thing and that there's no grid. As you guys can see on the screen, there's no lines. Like if you click into the waveform, there's a little grid you can use, but there's no grid on the multi-track. And that's the one thing that I wish Adobe had. I put a couple of requests in with Adobe Audition to see if we can get a grid eventually. But uh, if, if Adobe had a grid, I would never leave Adobe. Adobe's, I love Adobe. It's not the most popular doll, but I get a, I get an amazing mix out of it. Like I can, I can get some crazy sounds out of here. That is why I'm still using Adobe Audition. If anybody wants to know, 10 years later in 2024, Adobe just needs to make a grid. If you guys wanna go check out Adobe Audition, I will leave a link down below. And uh, if you guys wanna go check out some Adobe Audition vocal presets like this one on the side, links are down below. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you soon. Peace.